everybody and welcome to another math video. In today's video, we will be dividing fractions. Dun, dun, dun. The first problem, well, if you didn't know, dividing is a matter of putting, of how many times one number goes into another number. Um, the first number we were using is one third. Don't be alarmed. If you can't do this, we can just turn it around. Um, I found a way to do this. Take, um, take the one third, but look at this. Look what I noticed. One third is this much. So, one third. Another third. Two thirds is this much. And three thirds this much and um, I'm just telling you now that this is called a numerator and this is a denominator I'll write them down um, denominator um, and a It'll give you 10 seconds if you want to write this down. And then there you have it. Um, a denominator and a numerator. You can always go back in the video if you want to. Um, you can always... Um, let's get back in the video. I'll see if this can do sock. And, um, and you can go back in the video if you didn't have enough time to write it down. But since that's three thirds, three, um, three thirds equal one. So, um, I'll erase this with my little sock. Um, and I can't reach this part, so I'll just this by hand. And, um, I'm going to be using this as my eraser the rest of the video. Just telling you, so, 3 thirds equals 1. We could skip count, but that would take longer. We can just do 6 divided by 3. How many can... How many times does 3 go into 6? 2. So, wait. Wait a second. I think I just got that wrong. Um, 3 thirds of four. Oh, I got that right. Just, now we have to do... Wait, no. I got, I got it wrong. It's 3 times 6. Um, because we have to do three, um, three for three thirds, t um, six times, because that only equals one, so that is six, six, twelve, eighteen, so, um, since we did it another way, a different way, since we switched it around, um, I figured out you have to put a one and a slash for one eighteenth. <laughs> I wrote this down, so so this is one, this is two. It divides it up into eighteen. I know I'm bad at equalizing these, but um this is it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. So, um, we've got that down, and then two-thirds divided by six, um, since that's one difference, um, since that's a difference, we'll have to, um, well, look, look at this. This is one, two, three-thirds, so if you fill it in here, um, that'll be one, but we have two thirds, 
So we need to do this. And um, that two third. But since there's one more space, we get to fill that in next time. Um, now, because that's two thirds. But since we only filled in one, we have to do another. I'm not going to keep drawing these, but um, we can use tally marks to show this. One equals um, two thirds. Two, um, the second one, since that two thirds, this is one and one fourth because three equals one. Um, wait. Sorry, um, three equals one. Yeah, so we got three things, that's one. But we got one left over, so that's, um, one third. Sorry, I wrote one fourth, but it's one third. And, um, yeah, that's that. But one more is two, so we know that's two. And, um, two equals... Now we know 2 equals 3, let's say T for tally marks, um, so 1 tally mark, um, 3 equals, um, 3, N is for the number, equals 1 tally mark, um, but, um, when I try, when I recited for this video, I got that mixed up. But, um, I got this mixed up, but let's, um, now since we have this key, let's just write key. Um, equals one T um and two equals three T. So um so um so we can either do it this way um two um thing sorry two and two um, so if you can't say ding it in your house, I just like saying it, but, um, two and two thirds, um, three and one fourth, we'll go down here, um, ding it, sorry, I keep writing fourths. Um, then we'll do four, and so that is two, um, so another two, so we have six tallies, and, um, another one we'll do, and we can just skip this because we know two more equals three tally marks, so that's nine, so I got one nine. Um, because we did that again another way. Um, so, um, why did I just do that? That was a perfect tally. But, um, wait, sin one third equals boom. And then four is another one. Because tally marks, the fifth one always goes across like that. And um, we know that one right now, but another way, um, we just got two, um, so, so much. Um, we've got the number three equals one T. So, um, So two equals three tally marks. So um, that equals 
mine and all, I think, because first we got, um, three, wait, no, we got, wait, let's just, let's just forget about that and end the video here, because now we've got a way to divide fractions using two-thirds, one-third, six, and six, um, you can, you can, um, look up on the internet, um, maybe not, maybe yes, but I advertise to you, um, a website called Dreambox Math, um, it's right below this, um, bottom line of this box I'm in for the video, the video rectangle. And you can look under that in the description, and then you can copy and paste, um, and you can copy and paste the dreambox.com, and then, um, you can register or sign up, I don't remember what it says, and make an account and start learning. Um, you may start in this area, um, well, you may start in this area more for preschool through second or third and um and yeah you have to finish that or get a bunch of questions right and skip um to third to third or fourth plus and you'll have to do a bunch more lessons to get to dividing fractions. And, um, yeah, you've got this, I hope. And, well, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I hope I get that recorder to record my Xbox videos. <laughs>